you know those coasters that are mostly tame but have one absurdly wild moment. The one that comes to mind immediately is Kennywood's Jackrabbit. Well, I'd like to present another example of Machine of a Per Jardin de Acclimatacion. This powered coaster looks like a kitty coaster, and it behaves like one for most of the layout. But this rides a surprising ejector hill towards the end of the ride. So in this video, I will explain just how good the moment is and review the coaster as a whole. From 1992 to 2001, this was a small powered coaster from French manufacturer Soquet. The same year that ride closed, Soquet built a newer powered coaster for Jardin de Acclimatacion. The ride originally opened as Tacote Express, which translates to Old Timer. At that time, the coaster had green track and an automobile themed train. In 2018, the park as a whole was rethemed. The park received a steampunk overlay. This included 17 new rides, and several pre-existing ones were updated. One such ride was Tacote Express. The ride was renamed Machine of Upper, which is steam engine in English. The track was painted black, and the ride vehicles converted to a bronze train. The coaster now has some trees in the center of the layout. There's also a fountain, but was unfortunately drained during my visit. Like many powered coasters, this one runs just one train. It is long though. It has six cars, each seating four riders in two rows of two. So the train can hold a max of 24 guests. However, if you visit on a rainy day like I did, the park may only fill the first three cars. As a result, I was not able to try the back three cars, but the front car was the best spot to maximize the ejector hill. Crowds were minimal for me, so I was typically able to board the next train. Once it's your turn to ride, seating is on a first come basis. The trains feature no seat belts. Each row is just a single position lap bar that will rest well above the lap for most riders. This allows for very quick loading. Once dispatched, you have a slow bank turn left out of the station. You navigate with so little speed that you'll start to slide sideways. You then start climbing upwards. There's a gentle bunny hill followed by another bank turn. This one goes right. This one is again taken slowly, so you'll again slide sideways a bit. You then have another tame bunny hill over the prior one. Don't even think about getting airtime in this one. Then comes the third turn. This is placed above the first turn, but it is another mild one. Now this is where things start to get exciting. There's a drop into an underground tunnel. As noted earlier, I was not able to try the back cars due to the inclement weather, but I think it's possible the back car could get a little airtime as they're pulled downwards. The tunnel is simply a straightaway, but you have solid speed. It feels noticeably faster than the posted 25 mile per hour or 40 km per hour top speed. Now comes the best part. As you exit the tunnel, you jump upwards. You have so much speed over this little hump that those in the front cars get a sharp and powerful burst of ejector airtime. I couldn't believe it. It caught us completely off guard. And remember how freeing those restraints are? You are shot a good foot into the air. I loved it. The subsequent turn is gentle in most rows, but you still have enough speed in the front cars to get a pinch of laterals. You then quickly jump up into the station. If you're in the front car, you'll get a tiny pop of airtime. Then you charge through the station and repeat the layout a second time. Everything feels identical except for the finale. On lap 2, you start slowing down at the end of the last turn, so you enter the station to slowly get that bonus pop of airtime. You then come to a stop, ending the 1.5 minute long experience. As you may have surmised, this ride's pacing is quite wonky. It is super tame and leisurely for 90% of the ride. Then you have an ejector pop fit for an RMC towards the end. That lone moment is the reason I rewrote this coaster a few times. As for smoothness, this ride is excellent. I haven't ridden many so good coasters, but the few I've been on have been very smooth. So what would I rate Machine of a Purr? I would give this coaster a 6 out of 10. This is such an odd ride to rate. Most of the experience is a gentle kitty coaster, but then you have a crazy spot of airtime towards the end. That moment does not belong on a kiddie coaster. It was so good that it kept this avid thrill seeker getting back in line to experience it over and over again. No joke, it is better than most airtime hills in Tutatis. You just have to sit through a lot of fluff in between. You at least get two laps though. If you want me to compare this to another ride, 
It honestly feels a bit like the aforementioned Jackrabbit at Kennywood. Both rides have one absurd airtime moment with minimalistic restraints, but the rest of the rides are fairly mild elements. So those are my thoughts on Machine of Vapeur Jardin de Acclimatacion. What are your thoughts on this coaster? Do you enjoy that wild airtime pop as much as me? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.